Okay, so today I am cleaning the aftermath of having my dining room roof pulled out. Alright, so let me tell you how this all started. It started from a tiny little spot in the top of in my ceiling, just a tiny spot. And I saw it, like we saw it. This is one of the things with homes, you know, everybody wants to own a home, but there's so much that goes into own a home, especially maintenance, right? So we saw that little tiny spot and I'm like, why is that spot there? Like, where is water coming from? However, the first time I was like, maybe it's still the leftover water damage from when my toddler filled up the basement sink. I don't know if I have a, still have that video, but filled up the basement sink, not the basement sink. <laughs> she filled up the bathroom sink upstairs, clogged, clogged the drain, and then just kept pouring water. So the water started to run over. Then it leaked down to our dining room. So yeah, that was a mess. So that happened and it ran through the vent. So we had a little water damage in the ceiling from that. So I saw the spot and I'm like, maybe this is related to that somehow. I don't know why, because it was on a completely different side from where that happened. Anywho, I said, nope, nope, that's not possible. Something isn't right here. I woke up two mornings in a row and my where my tub is upstairs, right underneath it, the stain got bigger. I also noticed that through that little vent on that side, there was water dripping down. So we woke up and through that little vent, there was just water, puddle, like a puddle of water right on that side. And I'm like, that's, that's strange. How is there water just running down from the tub or the shower? We don't even know where it was coming from, but there is water there. Okay. So we said, all right, we're going to clean this up. Said, all right, we're going to clean this up and have it. I think at that moment, we still didn't even have it checked out. It happened again another day, same time period. And I'm like, no, man, this is getting bad. The stain is getting bigger. Like, why, is, why does water keep running down? Eventually, we had to call a plumber to have them tell us what is happening here and why is water going down only to find out that in order for them to see what's going on because they did the outside version check the shower and all of that they didn't really find much clogging or anything so in order for them to actually see what's going on they would have to remove a part of the roof look inside of it look at the pipes and see what's the blockage what's going on and why is there water running down and where's this water coming from like what's happening right and that's when the saga begins we eventually opened up the roof come to find out that our shower has a lot of cracks and crevices inside of it so along with the pipe having its issues the shower wall itself has cracks inside of it and because of those cracks there's water going inside of it and running down streaming down and eventually just dripping down and creating the mess that we've seen on the roof so once that happened i was like okay we're gonna have to get this fixed so now that half of the roof is cut open it was like in order for them to fix everything and the water restoration people have to come in and dry it they had to remove the entire roof so that was a process in itself so they removed the entire roof you know the water restoration people came came for four days did their cleaning dry and make sure there's no mold once that is sorted out because of course we had to get approved by the homeowner's insurance once that is sorted out then they went ahead and this was the aftermath of it and i was like oh my gosh it's so dusty and just kind of oh it's just a mess so imagine all of this mess there and cannot do anything to it cannot clean it because it was over a few days and it was it's one of those things where in the back area like oh my gosh this needs to clean like it's so much mess i need this to get cleaned out immediately so as soon as they left like the same day i was like yep time for me to start mopping and cleaning this and sweeping this and getting this out because it started off with me just sweeping the dust away right i swept the dust away one time and i was like okay great the dust is cleaned up but this was like i had to go over this a couple times sweep the dust away once i swept the dust away there is still dust inside the creases at the bottom part what is it called i guess that the backsplash or the rim whatever it's called at the bottom there i had to get the vacuum hire those vacuums use it to vacuum up all of the dust that is caught in the corner then i started to mop
so I completed the first mopping of the floor and as you can see if you see it in this video it still has some a, t a tip a bit of an ashy look to it so I decided to go over it once more with the mop just to get that ashy look kind of off of it before I started to do my other before I decided to do my other part of it so I was like let me just go over it one more time clear up some more of this ashiness because trust me it was a lot of ashiness it was uh, yeah well just it looked cranny so I was like let me go over it one more time so you know I put the effort in I was like mega put in my time and clean this to my expectation so I did decide to go over it one more time So this clip is a bit blurry but this is my final attempt to go over my floor with the murphy wood floor oil soap in order to clean it and give it that shine and just that you know nice new brand wood effect that you the wood floor usually have so i was like i'm gonna go over this go over it this last time with that and that will be my final cleaning step for this dining room area I was so zoned out and just into my stories and whatever I was listening to at the time I didn't even know notice how long my camera was out of focus for like anyone that ever happened to you before you yeah, have you ever been cleaning and while you're cleaning you were so zoned out and so into it that you don't even realize everything else that's going on around you because you're focusing on getting that one job done that one task done and then you'll focus on everything else i didn't notice that this camera was out of focus for so long but nevertheless it still got a you know good amount of footage that can be used <laughs> so see with me throughout this the end of this video you'll definitely get to see the results on a more like a clearer lens
made it to the end finally this is the results this is the finished look this is how i needed my wood floor to look after and that's why i spent so much time going over it and over it again until i got my desired result even though i completed that the next step i had to leave it to dry because i had all the stuff that was in the dining room was in the kitchen so i was like might as well i use this time to go through any like you know clutter that was in the dining room so while i waited for it to dry i just sat there listening to some music listening to some stories and just starting to go through the clutter that was left on the table and yeah until the next cleaning video definitely like definitely subscribe leave a comment let's talk about this let's talk about your experience with homeowners insurance and anything else that you'd like to talk about so like leave a comment subscribe until next video